Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna go ahead and continue working on this piece. This is a acrylic uh, painting and uh, it's done all in black and white. So uh, I'm going to use uh, titanium white and uh, ivory black to complete this painting. This is part two of this painting. If you haven't watched part one where uh, I did the mountain, sky, mountain, the trees. You can go ahead and watch that part before you watch this, if you like. So I'm gonna go ahead, use a fan brush and work on the trees in the foreground, the cabin, and, uh, and finish the painting. So I'd like to just drop in a few trees here maybe this one comes all the way up there and maybe these two are really close to each other and the third one we're gonna bring it we're not gonna go all the way up we're gonna bring it right here and maybe a couple of small ones here But maybe I bring this branch really out that way. Maybe we can make this tree a bit higher. Maybe perspective wise works better. And the bottom of these trees, I'm just gonna go ahead, drop drop the dark, no perfection needed. Over here. So for the highlights, I'm going to use gray. Actually, for for the mid tone, I'm going to use gray. Um, a bit lighter value than that. And then for the for the highlights, I'm going to use maybe almost white. So again, same action, same brush. Now you may not be able to appreciate much because you know I don't think the camera would pick that up but in person I can see that that gray is showing as a mid-tone and I'm really dropping this gray this mid-tone just randomly using the corner of the brush So the tree is gonna maybe stop around here and then we're gonna have the, the land which we're gonna do detailed work a bit later once we're done with the with the trees. Same action, just randomly dropping this impression of mid-tone which appears as highlight because it's lighter in value. Now I'm going to pick up a bit more white, mix in with that gray and make a lighter value for highlight I'm still not using a straight white here 
and the light is coming this way so we're gonna highlight this side of the trees and just a few places a bit too much there but that's okay it's a good thing this is just a practice we can go and use some dark and fix it go ahead and apply some dark over it I'm gonna bring this tree a bit higher with this highlight and soften some of these things just like that and I'm gonna do the same thing with these trees and those two trees I'm going to show you a bit of how I do those trees, but probably edit it, you know, because it's more, more of the same. So those are my trees, I'm gonna switch to one inch brush, this is one inch bristle brush. I'm gonna pick up some of that grey on the palette, just like so. And I'm gonna come down here at the bottom of this tree, I'm gonna leave some dark, okay, between the tree and the, the grassy area, whatever it is that we're going to paint. I'm going to leave some of that dark and, go, and just go ahead and tap just like that and create impression of some maybe some grass and stuff like that Dropping two more trees on this side and this is going to be exact same idea so you're going to see an edited version of this They're just a bit larger that's all same principle though
just like that. A bit details here and there, just in few places, just a suggestion. Goes a long way. Some of the black and white, we're gonna make a darker gray, and we're gonna go ahead, drop in indication of a roof for this cabin. And some lighter gray, we're gonna go ahead, bring in some impression of details here this is very far from us small cabin we're not going to see much of details here and there maybe lighter gray for the cabin itself I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move to the foreground and pick up some black maybe a touch of white make a dark gray for the underpainting maybe a bit more white just to blend it with the mid-ground area Not much details back there. We're gonna have the fence over here. I haven't forgot about it. We're gonna create some bushes here. Right next to the cabin. Maybe a bit, a bit white, mixed with that gray, just a touch. Some rocks over there, or you could just use a palette knife. For example, on this one, you can just go ahead and apply some highlights that way, create some texture. So soften some of that hard texture blend it in with the black area or the shadow side so you get a nice transition of color you could create a rock like that if you like it you can go ahead do the same thing on the other side
Maybe some rocks. Here and there. Now I'm gonna pick up some gray, some lighter value, with my Filbert brush. I'm gonna come, come over here and uh, drop in a bit uh, more texture for the foreground. And I'm gonna use the side of the brush. And I'm just gonna pull in just like that and be mindful of the lay of the land. Just if you go straight, you know. It won't it would work if you want to keep your land, you know, very flat. So come in at an angle just like that. And let the paint break. As all sort of good things happen, you know. Bob used to call it happy accident. Just like that. So I'm gonna add a bit more white to that paint. I'm gonna get lighter value. So this area is really in the shadow of the tree. This area is getting more light. So I'm gonna come over here, the same angle, but lighter value, apply some highlights. Just like that. And then back to my gray. I'm gonna just get a nice blend, get rid of that some of the hard edges, unnatural edges. And then this this path is gonna get some highlights. Yeah, it's gonna come to the road and become part of the road some more bushes for the foreground maybe some highlights And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and call this painting done. Um, monochromatic, if you don't consider white as a color, only black, um, but I believe it's a good practice, especially if you're a beginner artist, to work with values. I think it's a very good practice um, to work with values. Um, building composition and stuff like that. It's decent painting, you can even do this on a larger canvas and uh, a lot of people like these monochromatic paintings. You can gift it or you can even consider selling them. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and uh, I hope to see you again on this channel with uh, future videos. So keep coming back and uh, don't forget to hit that like. Alright, all the best.